Hi everyone, today we'll take a look at Team Russia going ahead in the 2021 World Junior Championship. Russia, as usual, heist a pretty good team that can compete for gold in this tournament this year. They are always a team not to rule out, but are they a better team than last year? First, let's take a look at their forwards. First of, we have Mikhail Abramov from the Victoriaville Tigre in the QMJHL. He could have a good 14 points in 9 games for them, and he's the team captain. He was drafted in 2019 in the 4th round by the Toronto Maple Leafs. He's a good skill center or winger. Next player, we have Yegor Afanasiev from Krasnaya Armia Moscow in the MHL, where he has two goals in two games, but also played for CSK Moscow in the KHL and had three points in four games. A pretty good total for playing for this team as a young guy. He was drafted last year in the second round by the Nashville Predators. He has a big frame with his six foot three body and has a pretty good skill set. If I guess, I would say he will probably be one of Russia's most important players. Next up, we have Rodion Amirov from Toros Neftekamsk in the VHL, the second league in Russia. He had two points in three games, but also played the most of the season for Salavat Yuleyev Yufa in the KHL and had eight points in 23 games. He was drafted this year 15 overall by the Toronto Maple Leafs. Another guy that could be very important for Russia, as he's a very skilled winger. Next, we have Zahar Bardakov from Vityas Podolsk in the KHL, where he has two points in 27 games, and in the MHL he played two games and had one goal. Next, we have Daniel Bashkirov from Salavat Yulehev Yufa in the KHL, where he had two goals in 19 games. Next up, we have Yegor Shinahov from Avangar Homsk in the KHL, where he had 15 points in 27 games. He was drafted this year as an overager in the first round, 21st overall, by the Columbus Blue Jackets. He was seen as a big reach this draft, but after seeing his point total this year, I don't think it was that big of a reach. His shot is really remarkable, and with the point total he had in the KHL, he will probably be one of, if not, the best Russian player on the team. Next, we have left-winger Vladislav Firstov from the University of Connecticut in the NCAA. He only played two games thus far and had one assist, but last year he had 23 points in 34 games with Connecticut. He was drafted in 2019 in the second round by the Minnesota Wild. He's a really gifted offensive player. Next, we have winger Arsani Gritsiuk from Homsky Yastrebi in the MHL, the junior league in Russia, where he had 9 points in 6 games thus far. He also played 7 games in the KHL and had no points in the VHL, 6 points in 8 games. He was drafted in 2019 in the 5th round by the New Jersey Devils. Next up, we have Maxim Groshev from CSKA Neva St. Petersburg in the VHL. He played for four different teams this year, most notably for Neftikimik Nisnekams in the KHL and SK St. Petersburg in, also in the KHL, where he only had two assists in 22 games. He was drafted this year in the third round by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Next up, we have a small center Marat Husnudinov from the SK St. Petersburg program in the MHL, where he had 14 points in 10 games thus far. He also played in the KHL team and had 1 assist in 11 games in the, and in the VHL 1 goal in 3 games. He was drafted this year in the second round by the Minnesota Wild. He's a pretty good crafty player and plays a good 200 feet game and has a good motor. Next, we have the captain Vaksili Potkolzin from 
CSK Neva St. Petersburg in the VHL, where he just got relegated from the main team of St. Petersburg. He had six, six points in 24 games this year, and for the VHL team, he had one assist in one game. He played two years ago in the World Juniors as a, as a 17 years old and had three assists in seven games. And last year, he had five points in seven games. He was drafted in 2019, 10th overall, by the Vancouver Canucks. He's a very good big and skilled winger who can chip in a couple goals once and there. And he's a pretty reliable player on the defensive zone as he's always giving his best and he has a pretty good motor. He will be one of Russia's most important players for sure. Next, we have Vasily Ponomaryov from the Shawinigan Katarak in the QMJHL. He currently played 9 games and had 9 points. He was drafted this year in the second round by the Carolina Hurricanes. He's another hardworking player from Russia and has pretty good skills also. Next, we have Ilya Safonov, a center from AK Bars Kazan in the KHL. He played thus far 22 games and had only an one assist, but he's a pretty good center as he's, he is 6 foot 4. Next, we have Yegor Spiridonov from SK St. Petersburg program in the MHL, where he had currently 6 points in 7 games. He also played for the main club two games but had no points and in the VHL club he had three points in three games. He was drafted in 2019 in the fourth round by the San Jose Sharks. He's a good two-way center. Now starting at defense we have Roman Bishkov from Buran Voronez in the VHL where he had four, go uh, four, four points in 21 games. He was drafted last year by the Boston Bruins in the fifth round. Next up, we have Daniel Cheka from Krasnaya Armia Moscow in the MHL, where he had one assist in three games. He also played for the main club of CSK and had no points in seven games, and in the VHL also no points. He played last year for the Guelph Storms and had 34 points in 56 games. He's projected to be drafted in the first round of the next NHL entry draft as he's draft eligible. He's a big, strong, six foot three defenseman and has pretty good offensive skills. I think he will be drafted pretty soon and already be an impact defenseman for Russia. Next, we have Semyon Chistyakov from Avardan Homsk in the KHL, where he had three points in 28 games thus far. He was drafted in 2019 in the fourth round by the Nashville Predators. Next up, we have Kirill Kirsanov from the SK St. Petersburg program in the MHL, where he had three assists in eight games. He also played for the main club and had no points in 14 games, and in the VHL, two points in four games. He will also be draft eligible for next year's draft, He is projected to be drafted around the 60 to 90 spot. And he's seen as a physical, strong defenseman and as one of the best defensive stick in the entire draft class. Next, we have Artemi Niazev from Herbis Kazan in the MHL, where he had two, one points in two games. And in the VHL from Bars Kazan, he had four points in five games. He's currently in loan from the Shikutsumi Sagnea in the QMJHL, where last year he had 43 points in 51 games. He was drafted last year in the second round by the San Jose Sharks. He will probably be one of Russia's best offensive defensemen in the tournament. Next is Jan Kuznetsov from the University of Connecticut in the NCA. He only played two games thus far and had one assist. Last year, in 34 games for them, he had 11 points. He was drafted this year in the second round by the Calgary Flames. He's a pretty good defensive defenseman and has a large frame with his 6 foot 4 body. He probably will be one of Russia's most important defensive defensemen. Next, we have Shakir Muhammadulin from Salavat Yuleev Yufa in the KHL, where he had already 9 points in 31 games. 
and was drafted this year 20th overall by the New Jersey Devils. He is another really strong defensive defenseman and also has pretty good offensive skills with his big body. Another defenseman to watch for Team Russia. Now, last defenseman, we have Yegor Shehovtsov from the SK St. Petersburg program in the MHL where he had two assists, uh, two points in five games. He also had five points in 12 games in the VHL team. Now, first goalie, we have Artur Haktiamov from uh, Irbis Kazan in the MHL where he has a good 926 save percentage. He also played three games for the main club of Kazan and had a 904 save percentage and in the VHL 935. He was drafted this year in the first fourth round by the Toronto Maple Leafs. He will probably be the second goalie with Team Russia. Now the best goalie of Team Russia is without a doubt Yaroslav Askarov from SK St. Petersburg in the KHL where he has an incredible 962 save percentage in 7 games and also in the VHL he had a 900 save percentage. He was drafted this year 11th overall by the Nashville Predators, a pretty high ranking as a goalie. Last year he played for Team Russia as a 17 years old and had a pretty difficult tournament with a 877 save percentage but I think he will bounce back this year as he's too good of a goalie to make a big difference in the team. He will probably be one of the best goalies in the NHL coming in the next few years. Now last goalie we have Svevolov Skotnikov from Krasnaya Armia Moscow in the MHL where he had a good 929 save percentage. He also played three games for CSK Moscow and had a 917 save percentage and in the VHL 907. He will probably be the second or third goalie with the team. So, what do you think about Team Russia going ahead in this tournament? Can they win gold? I definitely think they are a strong contender for it. They have a good mixture up front of good hardworking forward and skill forwards. And also at defense, a very strong and physical punishing defenseman. And at goal, really not much to say apart, apart from saying Askarov is probably the best goalie in the whole tournament. So of course I think they couldn't win it all. So next team I will cover will be Team Sweden. So stay tuned. And like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more World Junior coverage and many more hockey related videos.